Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we're making some stands for QR codes. So you can put a QR code sticker on these and set them up either on a bench or a table or a bar top, wherever that you might need a QR code. So we start here in Fusion and we start with a simple rectangle. We already know what the size of the QR codes. They're stickers that we have made from a local sign shop. And we already know what those sizes are. So we're making this stand to fit those stickers. Now you can see here we went and we did the text box and we're because we're using a plasma table and we're cutting it out like that we have to cut out the A and the E to make everything a loop. And what's different about this one is we're going to use the sheet metal function in the flange and you can see that's what we're doing there. We're flanging the bottom of this, drawing it out and then we'll use the fillet and we'll fill up these corners to get it the shape that we want. Once we get it the shape that we want, we'll use the um, make it flat. The make it a flat pattern, and that flat pattern is what we'll use to cut these out. The sheet metal function and the flat pattern function in Fusion is very handy for making anything like this that we're going to end up bending as the end product. So here we just highlight or activate the flat, the flat pattern and now we're in manufacturing, we're setting up for the cut. Now on the standard settings, because these letters are so small, sometimes the computer won't pick up or it has the ability to pick up the letters. It doesn't have enough lead in and lead out space. So what we have to do is on the tool path is we have to adjust the lead in and lead out. We keep adjusting them down just enough so that the computer can pick it up because the computer knows what the curve of our tool is and it knows um, how much space that it needs to do the functions that it needs to do. So with just some simple adjustments, we can get those to fit just about any size letter or opening. So we're back here at the plasma cutter. This is some 16 gauge, just steel that we have up here, a piece of scrap as you can see. And the machine's going to work. It's cutting it at 250 inches per minute at 78 volts on the torch height control. And we have our 45XP set at 45 amps. Now these are all the standard settings for 16 gauge that come with the hypertherm torch. And they work really well, so why try to fix it if it's not broken? So here's the post process or post work if you will after we cut them on the machine. We're here at the corner of our bench with our magnetic clamp 
and we take an angle grinder with some 60 grit flap disc and we just clean it up, knock off any of that dross that's on the back, clean up this rust that's on the front. Again, like I said, we use some scrap for these, which is fine because you'll see that this flap disc is going to clean it up real nice and then we'll finish it up with the burnisher that leaves a really nice finish. Now, these are going to get painted, so with some primer and some paint, these come out really slick. This burnisher leaves a really nice finish. I can't say enough how much we like the finish that this thing leaves. Here back at our sheet metal break and we're just gonna set this thing up, clamp it down and put a nice little bend on the bottom of it so this thing can stand on its own on a table or like I said a bar top or wherever the customer wants to put it. Here we're just double checking the measurements to make sure it's nice and straight and square. And it's just a simple bend and that's it. Now we had an order to make five of these and there's two of them. We repeat that process for all five of them. And that's this week's video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.